LDAP, Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, is a software protocol for enabling anyone to locate organizations, individuals, and other resources such as files and devices in a network, whether on the public internet or on a corporate intranet. I will start by installing OpenLDAP, NFS, RPC Bind, and Migration Tools. Start the service of LDAP. I will create an LDAP password, using slap password command and direct the output to the file. It will stop for a while to enter the password by you won't see the message as it's being redirected. As you see here is the prompting messages and the hashed LDAP password. We'll copy the hashed password to the OLC database config file that contains all the general attributes defined for a database. We'll open the same file for some modifications. We'll update the parts of directory specification, which defines nodes in ALDAP directory. CN represent common name. OU represent organizational unit. DC represent domain component. We'll add OLC password for the LDAP password. I am going to define the certificate file and its key, then we'll generate them.
Save and exit. Let's find DB config file sample. We'll copy DB config to LDAP directory for optimum performance. Now let's change the owner of the directory and all of its content to LDAP user and LDAP group. I will generate the certificate but I am not going to use them. Use OpenSSL to request new certificate. Hyphen nodes will not encrypt the private key. Hyphen X509 is a certificate data management. Hyphen out is CSR file location. Hyphen key out is the key file location. Hyphen days to set the expiration date. We'll set the country as US. State as Illinois. City as Chicago, and so on. Change the permission of the new generated certificate to LDAP. Restart the LDAP service. CD into Migration Tools directory. This directory contains a set of shell and Perl scripts, for migrating authentication information into an LDAP format. We'll open the Comon file. I will change group to groups, since all of them end by S. Our domain is example. Change domain component to example. Change it to 1, 
to support more general object classes. I am going to create three users under X users directory. We'll specify the home directory for each user. Give them a password. We'll create a user file for the three users, to migrate them with LDAP migration script. We'll create a password file for the three users, to migrate them with LDAP migration script. And last one for the users group. Let's modify the password migration script, to read from the password file that I created, not the Linux shadow file. Change it to the password file, to read only the password for the three users. We'll start running the migration scripts, the hierarchy for running them is important. All the migration will be redirected to an LDIF file. We'll do the same for the groups. The last one is base script, to create the base containers and organizational units. The LDAP add utility is implemented as a hard link to the LDAP modify tool. Hyphen X option use simple authentication instead of SASL. Hyphen W to prompt for simple authentication. Hyphen D to use the distinguished name to bind to the LDAP directory.
hyphen F to force application of all changes regardless of the contents of LDIF file. Enter the password that we created at the beginning of this lecture. As you see it add new entries. We'll do the same for groups and then users. Again make sure of the hierarchy. We'll restart the NFS service. Let's edit the export file under etc will make the X users directory shareable on the network. We'll restart the RPC bind service. We are done with the server machine, let's start configuring the client machine. Use the show mount command, to see if the shareable directories are seen from the client machine. We'll do a temporary mount of the home directory. For permanent mount add the mount line in the FS tab file, or refer to the material attached with the course. CD into the yum repository to install the LDAP packages. It's already installed. Type auth config command to configure the LDAP server. Add the LDAP server IP, we'll keep the domain component as it is. ls the home directory to check the mounted directories. Connect to x1 user from the client machine. As you see we can access these shareable directories using ldap from the client machine. Let's verify the remaining users. Thank you and see you in other courses.